easier, you see, so yeah. we can line them up. So what, yeah. what I'm going to do is I'm going to build, build up the nose first, yeah. and then I've got two original ribs, which I can stick straight in, yeah. line them up with the, with the laser, and all, all the new ones I can... Yeah. Because I've, I've, I've got to drill and um, file them. Yeah. Because the bits need taken out, holes need put into it. And I can line them up and drill them and fix it all. And then it'll all be on the trailing edge, all, all yeah. what you call a dry fit. Yeah. Before you stick rivets in there. Make sure it's all nice and perfect, brilliant. Then take it all apart again, all the trailing edge, get all the bits painted, and then stick it all together, mm -hmm. rivet it. Have you got all the components now? Yes. Oh, so you can crack ahead with building this one up completely? Yeah, yeah just... What about this bearing at the end here? What, is it a good... Obviously it must be airworthy. This the, shaft, the, this part. The shaft. Oh, we can get a new one made. Oh, are you? Yeah, it's not a problem. Yeah. And you've only got 125 thou out on the length. One eighth of an inch on, on, on the trading edge. On the trading edge? From one end to the other, one eighth of an inch. Mm, it's 50, going to be a bit. Foot. Yeah, okay. It's held in with um, a, tape, a couple of taper pins. Oh no, yoke fits knocked. on. Yeah, the yoke fits on there. It's like, like a C-shaped bit fits yeah. on there. It has an arm on it and has, has a ring. And the, um, the the gimbal bit which comes out of the wing actually rotates in that direction. That fits onto it, which makes it... That yeah, makes twist it, it's yeah. It's very clever. Oh right, thanks John. And that's the, they're the last things that go on when oh. it's all ready. It will be, yeah. Yeah. And yeah, but it's for the, 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 the travel of the yoke is. Oh it, it's so it is a it is a fitting. Yeah. I thought yeah, it was like cut that. out. Yeah, just yeah, just screw it. Just screw That's that's for the opposite side, you can see oh, the, the, yeah. Yeah. the handed. Yeah, yeah, that's a port one, that's a starboard yes. one. And this is from one of the ones you stripped down a few weeks ago. This this is possibly <laughs> off the port aileron that's on that. Everything's interchangeable. Yeah. yeah. It should be. Yeah. Yeah. Because well, as I say, during the war, every, everything would be, would be made of um, machines. Like these, yeah. these, these ribs would have been stamped out. Bang, yeah. bang, bang. Yeah. You had a part of them and all be exactly the same. Just yeah, all, all jig drilled and everything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that, that, that's a good thing about the um, yeah. mass production. Everything's jig drilled. You just, yeah. you just stick it in and drills come on. And all your holes are all in the same place. Yeah. So you got these semi-skilled people come to assemble it, and they just bump, and it's yeah. all lined up. They don't have to drill holes yeah. or ream them yeah. out. Yeah. They just stick it together. Good job done. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, we had a lot of um, the female staff doing it. Didn't they? <laughs> right. yeah. yeah. And the two ailerons were on the Lancaster. Now are the original ones. What came with the Lancaster? Yeah. 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 The one, the port one, is the one um, Bob reassembled on two trestle tables, so it's not quite... Yeah, is that the one that fell off a lorry when it was being transported? Yeah. yeah. But yeah. it doesn't so matter because it's not... No, it, no. it's not, no. it's not airworthy, no. so it's, it, it's slightly twisted. Yeah. And, and the starboard one um, has had some re um, rather rough repairs done on some of the ribs. Yeah. Patches put in with pot rivets and that, so... Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, so it's better to go down the line of refurbishing yeah. two airworthy ones, sticking them into storage, and um, when we come to do the flying, but the last thing that will go on will be the two air, airworthy a so the, there's a, there's a There's a block with a bearing hole, and then you slot that in. Yeah. And then the other ones here... Yeah. There are oh, they're self-sealed bearings, like sealed or... Yeah. yeah, yeah, you don't have to do anything with them. No. Yeah, once you stick them in, that's it. Yeah. If they go wrong, you change them. Yeah. When, when, when Avro's come up with this, and only Avro's do it, when they come up with this, when other factories started making bits of Lancaster, they used to sell, send inspectors out and they'd take six out to make sure they were done right. Because mm -hmm. they couldn't trust anybody else. Because to, to get them out, you're supposed to drill a hole in them and you get the tang, tang of a, a, a file in there. And unscrew them out. Yeah, uh, they are right. tap threads, are they? In there? they are, yeah, thirteen yeah. teeth they per just inch. just spread out when they, yeah. they and you, and so you, when the plug rivet hits the bottom of the hole, yeah. it then it spreads should, out. It should stick proud, and then when you drive it in, it, it'll fill the thread up. But they will inside. screw out. Supposedly, yes. Yeah, yeah. 
supposedly. But yeah. uh, uh, well, no, it just it just gives an indication of how accurate the gauge is. Yeah. Mm. Have you got a, a gauge which is accurate to test the tester? Uh, I haven't found one yet. No. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't found it. I'm guessing. Um, that because of the mechanical nature of this, and I'm using the correct grade of oil, then this will be accurate anyway. Yeah. yeah. So I would be 99.9% .9 sure that, that it's the gauge that's the problem, not, not, the, the, not, 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 not the kit. Yeah. So what actually do you do then, Spen? Right. That so is the gauge you're testing. That's the gauge I'm testing. So I'll just I'll just release uh, release the pressure. Okay. So. These weights are uh, marked in pounds per square inch. So that's 20 pounds per square inch. That one is two. I've got a 10 there. That one's a four. That's a one. So you can virtually go through zero to nine. So I, I can go through, I mean, the... yeah, I've got another 10 there. So if I put that on there, that should take us up to 30 PSI. So what we'll do is I'll just, so as I screw the piston in, yeah. when we get to 30 psi, this should start to rise. There it is, yeah. yeah there it is, it's rising now. We give it How far do you have to rise? Because it will end up in two stages yeah. then. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter. No. No, no matter how much pressure I put in here now from this, it'll be fixed, it'll be, it'll be fixed by, by this, yeah. And as you can see, this gauge is over reading. Yeah. So if I, take, if I take the 10 off, yeah. So we're now showing 20 psi, and once again we've come down, and the gauge is what showing 22 and a half. Yeah, 21 and a half. So yeah. So with this being analog, like I say, these are preset weight. I would be 99.9% .9 sure that this was okay, and that's the problem lies yeah. with the gauge. Yeah. Good. Well done. Another little gem Another from little you. Gem, yeah. Yes. From the fairy cupboard. <laughs> yeah, these are tapped holes. Um, this is a Canadian one that has screws in. The British one have, have got tapped holes and you stick rivets in it. Yeah. yeah. So these are the, the plug rivets. Yeah, plug so rivets. The only way you can tell the difference between a Canadian built and a British built is the screws or that, rivets. That's the only part of the aileron yeah, other, what's different. Yeah, otherwise they're uh, absolutely identical. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Thanks, John. And then the, you've got a shaft coming in at this end. No, no. There's a little shaft comes up there with a that goes into a bearing on, on the on the end wing rib. Yeah. Rib 14. And you've got a gimbal. And these these holes here are the pin holes for holding in the yeah, shaft. For a tapey pin that holds tapey that pin, in. Yeah. You have that. Um, yeah, that's all right. Goes that way round. Yeah. So that can swivel that way. And that bit. That goes on there. You've got the aileron rod that comes along the wing, goes on the lever here, moves that up and down. Like that. And that gives which, the movement. moves that. Yeah. That's allowed to move like that so you don't get a mechanical lock. Yeah. So the whole thing sort of does that sort of arrangement. And the so, yeah, that's goes good. up and down. Yeah. Oh good. Thanks very much, John, explaining okay. that. Oh. Thank you.